Okay. Hey, welcome everybody. Uh, this is a special Opium Chronicles fun event here on this Tuesday. We're joined today by Tom Keen, who's running a terrific race in Florida's HD 35. All of you who follow Hopium know that Florida, to me, is one of the most important states in the country. We played a major role in helping Donna Deegan get elected in the spring of last year. Uh, we've been encouraging people to participate and help in the, in the ballot initiative that just qualified uh, for the November elections. And now we turn to a really important race that will be taking place on Tuesday, January 16th. It's a special election, a flip opportunity, we're taking stuff away from the Republicans right in the middle of their legislative session. This is a really important way for Democrats all across the country to kick off 2024 really strong. And joining me today is Tom Keen, who's running, as I said, was, is running a terrific race for a first time candidate. He is doing a great, great job. And I'm really impressed with what he's been able to do. Tom, welcome. Appreciate you taking time out of your incredibly busy schedule in this final week to be with us. How's it going? I mean, give us a little bit of a background on the race and yourself. Just give us the the update. Sure. Well, good morning and thanks for having me on again, Simon. I really appreciate it. Uh, getting uh, out to to, uh, to your listeners has been uh, incredibly uh, important to my campaign. Um, we've been supported financially as well as uh, by a lot of volunteers that have joined up just based on, uh, on what you guys have uh, talked about here. Um, it's exciting for me to uh, to talk to you about. We have the election here less than a week on January 16th. Uh, we are out knocking on thousands, literally thousands and thousands of doors uh, per week. Uh, we're making thousands of calls, thousands of emails are going out. Um, I'm knocking personally on a lot of doors as well to make sure that I'm still tuned in to, uh, to what voters are talking about. So it's going really well. But make no mistake, it's still going to be a very, very close race. Uh, we're getting outspent and... Um, there's a few dirty tricks that are out there as well. Uh, we just want to make sure that we're getting our message of reproductive freedom and um, housing affordability and property assurance uh, insurance out to to voters so they can make informed decisions. Um, what's the um, what's the feeling on the ground? I mean, have you had good support from volunteers or people fired up? I mean, what's you know, when you look back on this a few months ago and are you happy with where things are today? Well, I. The response that we've received since the uh, the primary has been incredible. Um, I, I'll just point to one exact uh, uh, thing that we had. We had a canvas with uh, uh, Congressman uh, Max Frost, and we had a special guest, uh, David Hogue, uh, who many uh, will probably not recognize his name. We had over 80 people show up at somebody's home for that event. I've never seen that many people and that kind of enthusiasm and any of the things that I've been in, uh, involved with. It was incredible. So I'm getting a lot of that kind of feedback and, uh, and that kind of help. And I think that's going to carry us across the finish line uh, next Tuesday. Yeah, look, I mean, the Florida Republicans have gone too far. And like they have across the country, they've reached, they've gone beyond their mandate, I think, for many, you know, regular folks in Florida. And tell me about, Tom, the issues. I mean, what you mentioned reproductive freedom and housing. To talk a little bit about how you're running the race, what you're talking to people about, and what people are responding to. Right. Those are the two main issues that I've been talking about. I mean, obviously, there's a buffet of issues that we can, that we can talk about. But we want to make sure that people know exactly how I stand on reproductive freedom. In fact, right now, uh, the legislative session in Florida is just starting today. And there's already going to be a bill introduced to basically um, make abortion completely illegal here in Florida with no exceptions. And it's just, it's incredible uh, what they're trying to do. Talk about overreach. So we know from polling that that most voters want uh, reproductive freedom. They don't want government involvement. And yet Republicans are going back to the well on that again. And I, I can't believe they're doing it, but they are they're going to do it this session. So it's incredibly important for me to get to Tallahassee and, and to add my uh, my voice uh, and start to get us out of that super minority that we're in right now. Uh, the other key issue is property insurance. Uh, we are the highest in the nation. Uh, there's no excuse for us to be to be that expensive. Uh, and again, I lay that on the, the feet of Republicans in in Tallahassee who who've taken no action basically to help consumers. And in fact, again, <laughs> looking at the uh, the media that we see, uh, I'm getting blamed for that those high insurance rates. If you can believe it, um, it's, <laughs> it's incredible. It's it's really funny, but it's it's serious business. But it is uh, 
Uh, I'm not sure uh, if, if voters see through that. Hopefully they do, uh, because it is important to uh, stabilize our, we have a, we have a uh, insurance crisis here in Florida and we need to get that stabilized as soon as possible. You also have one of the highest inflation rates in the country in, in part because of all this. I mean, to, for all of DeSantis is attacking Biden on inflation, it's actually much higher per cap, you know, in Florida than it is in most other states. Even though it's come that way down, it's still right. running way above. Talk a little bit about your background, Tom. I mean, what what makes you the right guy for this job? Sure. So I do have a passion for public service, and that's represented by the fact that I spent 20 years on active duty in the United States Navy. Um, I served our country, and, and I want to serve the the voters of District 35 here in Florida and, and in Tallahassee. And and to be honest, I want to serve the voters of all of Florida, but District 35 is where I'm running for right now. And I'll be able to give that voice, that that passion when I go up to Tallahassee. Uh, our community has needs. Um, obviously, again, we, we want to make sure that reproductive freedom and insurance, uh, the insurance crisis is is tackled. Um, but there are a lot of other things that we, we've got to do, too. So I want to be an advocate and be a true representative uh, for the folks of here, uh, folks here of District 35. I think for people, you know, I have a long history of working in Florida. I actually went to Lawton Giles as second inaugural, um, and uh, just a few years, yeah, you know, just a few years ago. I mean, it's that long that I've been, you know, involved in Florida politics, and I've watched sure. this arc of Florida being this kind of very middle of the road, common sense, you know, slightly libertarian, right? You know, leave me alone kind of sense to now this very fire breathing right wing Republican Party that's in charge, which is very out of keeping, in my view, with what has been the the core sensibility of Florida. I know Florida's changing, but I think that part of the opportunity we have in the coming years is that there has been overreach. And I think this kind of common sense, you know, getting stuff done, pragmatic politics that you represent is really what Florida has always been. I mean, for people don't know this, but Florida really pioneered sunshine laws, for example. Yes, they have. You know, you know, to make it or po the politics of the state far more open. DeSantis is doing everything he can to, you know, trample on that. But talk a little bit about what you're hearing on the ground. My, I guess my final question is: your uh, two more questions for you, right? One, <laughs> one is: what are you hearing on the ground about them and about is there is there this sense that you know, they've really gone a little bit too far and they've pushed too far. Is that is there a sense that the Republican Party, for all the good things that it, it's done in Florida, has is the current crew is is overreaching a little bit? So there's no question when I knock on doors, people are talking about high property insurance. It, it, absolutely. Uh, the question is whether we can reach voters and let them know who's really responsible for that. And I think a, a lot of times, um, you know, people are very busy. They, they don't you know, they don't really have time to dig into, well, why do we have high property insurance? And that's the, the, the job of the representative to make sure that those voters are informed on what's happening. Uh, and I think maybe that's where we've fallen down just a little bit as Democrats and making sure that that uh, education, uh, that information is getting, getting to the voters. There's no question, though, that uh, I think Republicans have overstepped um, and they're going to pay a penalty for it. Um, and we're going to hold them uh, accountable and making sure the voters know and understand uh, who's really responsible for the, the issues that we have here in Florida. Final question is, what can people do to help? How can people help? Sure. So this is an incredibly expensive uh, campaign, and I've been helped already by many of your viewers, which I very much appreciate. Uh, we try to reach out and thank them um, for whatever uh, contribution donation that they can make. So that would be extremely helpful. And you can go to my website, keenforflorida.com. That's K-E-E-N. I think you can see it there on my side. K-E-E-N-F-O-R-F-L.com. Uh, and, and make a donation. Uh, that would that would be helpful. We're on TV. We're on we're doing mailers and we're and we're knocking on doors. So that would be great. And if you live in District 35, get out and vote. Uh, early voting has started. Uh, we need every vote. Every single vote counts. And if you do live in District 35, just get out and vote. That's the most important thing. Thanks again uh, for having me on. I yeah, really and, and Tom, I want to mention for anyone watching, there's also on our on my Hopium site and on Tom's site, there are opportunities for remote texting and remote phone calling for the final GOTV push and canvassing opportunities as well. And so for I, I've already been pleased to see people from the Hopium community who live in your district, who have gotten involved in your race, Absolutely. Through, through us, which is, is, I mean, I was really proud, proud of that. I mean, we do have several thousand 
followers and subscribers in Florida. And it's been great to see, you know, people who have been part of the Hopium community work, you know, going out and canvassing for you in the, in, um, this past weekend, for example. I'm gonna Absolutely. Some we had somebody come from Tampa yeah. this last weekend. Um, we had somebody from Jacksonville and I had somebody from South Florida as well. So we, we've been incredibly awesome. blessed to get volunteers on the ground helping us knock on doors. That's great. Tom, good luck. I mean, thank you so much for being a proud patriot and standing up for your country in this way. Uh, this is a tough business too, and in a very different way. And you've done a phenomenal job and I'm really proud of you. And friends, we got to bring it home. We got one week to go. Voting has started. This kind of, look, our community in these kinds of special elections, this is where we add the most value. You know, a few, a few hundred, a few thousand votes makes the difference. If a thousand of you watching today, you know, make a phone call, do a text, give a little bit of money, we can win this thing. This will be a huge way to start 2024. I'm really proud of Tom. I'm here because Tom has been a great candidate, is doing a good job. The polling is strong. He got a great endorsement from the Orlando Sentinel over the weekend. We can do this, everybody. Let's put our heads down, get this done, and start 2024 really strong. Thanks, Tom. Good luck. Thanks, everybody.